Hello everyone and thank you for joining my webinar. I want to thank you for investing your time, your talent, and your energy to learn a little bit more about how to properly mine your prospects. Now when I talk about mining your prospects, I'm talking about customers who come into your dealership, to your place of business, and get service they use your parts department, they use your body shop, but they haven't bought there in years or they don't have a salesperson they deal with anymore. And really how to effectively touch those customers, approach those customers, and turn those customers into car deals. So what we're gonna call this webinar is 10 easy steps for your dealership to effectively cut down on online spending and get more ROI simply by mining the prospects, the customers, the clients that you have coming into your dealership. So how we're going to start this is I'm going to start out with five steps for managers to properly mine prospects. They have to have a list with a distribution agenda and process of how they're going to obtain these lists, of how they're going to obtain these names, and how they're going to distribute those out to either the BDC, to the sales department, to sales managers, whatever the case is, how they're gonna properly distribute those leads and the process that they're gonna follow. We're gonna talk about how managers need to work the CRM. Now, I remember, and I've seen in certain dealerships, I've seen this with Reynolds and Reynolds, that they actually have a, a email that comes across on the company email that shows when your customer is in service so you know to go back there. Now we also want to make sure that we're working the CRM for these orphan customers, for these customers whose salesperson is no longer there or maybe they moved and they're using your service department but they did business at another dealership. Definitely managers need to be on top of and work the CRM. They, how managers have to have an open communication with the service department. Now we see this happen so many times that sales and service don't get along and so therefore there's a, there's a communication breakdown and service isn't properly giving the leads to sales to the sales managers and the sales managers aren't properly asking for those leads. In every dealership, I believe it is imperative for sales and service to have a relationship and work together. It's not about sales taking service customers, but it's about sales accommodating service customers to maybe go to the next step if that's what they're ready for. We're also gonna talk about how managers need to have a follow-up process with sales. Now, we all know the phrase that we've heard before, inspect what you expect, that to get that what you expect, to get your expectations met, you have to inspect what you delegate. You have to inspect what you expect because if you just expect, it will make a fool out of you and a fool out of the person you expect from if there is no inspection. You have to have a follow-up with your sales process. And we're also gonna talk about how to have a follow-up system with customers who have been approached. So the customer comes in, you might show them a model, they waited for two hours while their vehicle was getting serviced, you might have showed them a couple models, maybe even did a test drive, they need to bring the wife back, they need to bring the husband back, they're not ready for six months. Whatever the case is, there needs to be a proper follow-up process that managers need to be on top of themselves. They need to call back in two or three days and ask about the experience, if not later that afternoon. I'm going to keep talking about processes and how managers can create a process that therefore they can inspect what they expect and make sure that those customers are properly getting touched, properly getting approached, properly getting followed up with. From there, we're going to go into five steps to properly mine prospects for sales. And the first thing that salespeople need to do is they need to get their hands on body shop and service customer list. They need to know, they need to have a relationship with the service writer. They need to have a relationship with the service manager or a body shop advisor and really get those customers who just totaled out their vehicle. Get those customers who have a 15 year old vehicle that needs an engine and a transmission, a $5,000 job that we just know that doesn't make sense for them to do. We need to make sure that these customers are approached while they're there in the dealership, while they have already committed to spending X amount of dollars, while they find out the bad news, 
definitely make sure that service is alerting someone in sales so that sales can come back. Salespeople also need to work the CRM. Like I just talked about shortly ago with the management, I've seen systems that will alert the salesperson. The second that salesperson gets that alert, they should be back there. They should be asking them if they can get them a coffee, a donut, a Danish, whatever you have. And they should also start up a conversation, ask what's going on with the family, ask how work is, ask how the children are. You never know what vehicles might be coming up. Yes, Sue's getting sick of her minivan. She really wants to go to an SUV, so we're gonna be interested in that soon. Excellent, we've got huge incentives right now. We've got 0%, we've got low lease payments. While you're waiting, can I show you a couple models? Continue that sale along. My dad always taught me, cars are the stars. And really, get that customer in the car, get them to touch it, feel it, smell it, drive it, and then you will create the want, you will create that desire, they will start to see the value. Have a go-to service contact. I just talked about that, but in sales you need to have a go-to service contact. Same thing, you need to have someone that you send all your customers to. Hey, if you're ever in for service, for your first complimentary oil change, for whatever the case is, I want you to go see so-and-so. We work directly together, that way if there are any issues arise, they can contact me right away and we'll make sure that we'll get you accommodated and come up with a solution for your problem. Have that go-to person work together as a team, let the customer see this. Customers love seeing a store culture. They love seeing a team, everybody does. They wanna become a part of that team. Spend time getting to know the service customers. Once again, when you have that time with them, find out what household vehicles they have, what, who their drivers are, what kind of service costs that they've been running into lately with these vehicles. Get an idea of what they're thinking of for their next vehicle, for their next ideal vehicle. Get an idea for their budget. But what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we know as much as we can about the customers. I once heard a phrase and it said, I don't wanna know some of the information, I wanna know all the information. You find out the information by asking questions about them, their lifestyle, what they want, their recreation, their family. Then you can identify if there is a car deal there. From there, what we want to do is have a follow-up system integrated with and overseen by management. So once again, now we have service involved, we have the salesperson involved, and now we have management involved also. This is all gonna be recipes for you to mine your prospects properly, to mine those customers who are already doing business at your dealership, saving on marketing dollars, and making you not so dependent on Google, Google AdWords, and online spending. Get ready for the next, the first module, where we talk about five ways that management can properly mine their prospects.